Welcome back. You know the music. Something creepy is about to happen. Don't worry, it's not. Does the idea of carving pumpkins maybe scare you a little? Make you want to scream? Do you want to learn a quick and easy way to decorate them? They're still going to look awesome. Better yet, you can purchase these incredible painted ones and the money going to Habitat for Humanity. Joining us now is designer and DIY expert Nicholas Rosacci to talk about his creations and how you can make your own just like this. Good morning. Good morning, sisters. How are you? <laughs> we're good. We're okay. good. All right. Uh, no carve pumpkin. I, I, there's a part of it yes. I find self-explanatory where there is no carving. But what else do we need to know? How do we get them to be this beautiful? This is gorgeous what you have laid out here. Oh, well, thank you so much. You know, I always believe that true chicness isn't about how something costs, but what you do with something simple, right? And the pumpkin is the ultimate canvas, right? And of course, carving can be difficult, kind of scary, especially if you've got kids. The painted pumpkin, though, lasts so much longer. And I just love this idea because it makes a great centerpiece for a dining room table, or you can put them outside and be the envy of the neighborhood. The key to a perfect painted pumpkin, though, is using the right paints and some decoupage elements. And would you get some of these things from your local craft store? You said the perfect paint. What kind of paint are you looking for? Well, I'm a big fan of Rust-Oleum paints because they're great outdoors. So I use this beautiful Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover, and it gives you that gloss finish that you can sort of see here, right? So it's spectacular. It weathers well outside, which is great, because if you are going to put them outside, the enemy of the painted pumpkin is rain, right? So this is a godsend. And I also use the Rust-Oleum Gold Spray Paint on the stems or any of the gold details because gold is such a big trend in design and decor, and it just elevates the pumpkin to a whole other level. So my, my fear uh, in, in trying to attempt some, I'm artistically <laughs> challenged, okay? And I'm sure there's a lot Aww. of people out there who love, Nicholas, what's in front of you and what's in front of us. They, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. But in, oh, what, in what world can someone like me create something like this? Like, do you have a template? What's, like, what, what tips do you have? Because this is great. Oh, well, thank you so much. I'm always about making my DIY projects really simple and easy. Although they look complicated, they're really not. One of the things that I do is I will take, when I paint furniture, I'll often paint the Chanel logo, which is very popular on painted pieces. And I'll use this as a template to trace it on and then paint in all the details. But with the posh pumpkins, we use the template actually to decoupage onto the front of the pumpkin. So you can either do the black side or the white side. And we're simply just going to put the outdoor Mod Podge. This is it right here. They have an outdoor version of this, if you remember this from the 70s in the 60s. <laughs> Mod Podge is so awesome. And then we Mod Podge that right on the front. Now, if you don't want to do something like the Chanel, you can do any image. Like in your studio, we've got Paw Patrol, one of my favorite shows. Paw Patrol was on a roll. You can do the dinosaurs, because <laughs> dinosaurs are a big trend this year. Basically, anything you want to do on your pumpkin, Mod Podge is the way to do it. And again, the outdoor one weathers so, so well. I love doing skull pumpkins. So one of my favorite pumpkins to do, I don't know if you can see this one here, mm -hmm. but here we take a coloring book image and you know during the pandemic, coloring books were a big thing. So you can get a lot of coloring books that feature kind of sugar skulls. We paint these in, don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you decoupage it onto the front of the pumpkin on the back first, and then onto the front after you've placed it wherever you'd like it. And that looks amazing. And then afterwards, we take some bling because, again, like I always say, if you ain't got the bling, it ain't worth a thing. Yep. We do the bling on the eyes, and it just looks so, so cool. So I love this idea. And if you've got time, too, you can even enlarge the coloring book images, and you can do a huge one on a Ooh. canvas. Oh, that's big time. So that's so much fun. And that makes it really easy to color into the lines perfectly the bigger it is. Right? You can see that thing from space. It's Nicholas, huge. On you top, could see it from oh space. <laughs> I love that. You could do whatever you like. Nicholas, what's really cool about this is this partnership that you have with Habitat for Humanity because you were tying this into an incredible cause. Share with us what, what you're doing. Well, you know, the great thing about Habitat for Humanity is that they actually help families. And I personally have seen just how they do that. It's such a great charitable organization. But the pandemic has greatly affected their fundraising. A lot of the stores weren't able to get furniture into their restore locations the same way they used to before the pandemic. So what we're doing here today is we're creating these posh pumpkins that I do every year. And all the funds are going to support them and to support families in need. All of them are available at 700 Kipling Avenue at the Kipling Restore in Etobicoke. And they're about $60 each. So if you don't want to make one of these yourself, if you feel like, say, you're not inclined to get your DIY on, and it's also two days before <laughs> Halloween, you can come down to the ReStore and you can pick one yourself. There's 12 other designers that have also taken part and done some beautiful, incredible works of art. So I'm just so thrilled to be able to just see the generosity of my industry coming together to do good things that support families and make a difference. 
Uh, Nicholas, it's a home run. They look fantastic. It's for a great cause. It's Halloween. You can't beat it. Have a great day. We appreciate you sending these. Thank these you. Are, check them out online. It's for a great cause. Happy, so happy Halloween, Nicholas. Thank you. Take care. Happy Halloween, guys.